Hey, what's up guys? I'm AvalancheFan133 and welcome back yet again to my NHL 14 Goalie Be A Pro Mode. Uh, this episode I'm facing the Cape Brenton Screaming Eagles in game number 40 on the season. Uh, I'm not sure how many games are in the season, but this is right around the halfway point, I assume. Uh, three games have passed since last episode. I tried to get more done, but couldn't really get into it after the 5-1 loss there. We won 3-2 against the Moncton Wildcats. I can't remember if that one went to overtime or not. I don't think it did. But then we lost 4-1 against them at home. I allowed three goals in the first period. The first period was very bad, but had a great game after that. Uh, if I just had, hadn't done so bad in the first. So my defense didn't help me very much, and not much offense. Then we just won 3-2 in overtime against the Screaming Eagles at home. That was a very exciting game. And now we're facing them again, second of a home-and-home -home series. Uh, look at our career statistics. Nothing changed very much. 12 and 18, 3.16 goals against average, 87.9 save percentage. Not doing great, but it'll get better as I get better, get my goalie better. He's only 68 overall. And I just want that first shutout. I don't know if it's going to come this season. Uh, I'm going to get a bad grade on that milestone. And uh, I'm saving for glove high on my reflexes though actually I should I'm now noticing stick high is only 75 I might go ahead and do that and I've got those two at 79 and that I went for agility on athletic last time so that's about everything let's get her started um, this episode I'm gonna actually try to edit down I'm going to also be uploading the full game, too, along with it, in case anybody wants to uh, watch the whole thing as compared to just highlights. Uh, I did do a gameplay change, and I bumped the game speed up a notch. That's it. I wanted a little faster gameplay, a little more interesting gameplay, a little more excitement towards it. So I did that. That's the only thing I could think could have thought of that would have really done it and it it did I didn't notice a whole lot of speed increase I just did it last game it was we got the 3-2 overtime loss but uh, it was a little faster I did notice it was faster it just didn't do a whole lot I may even bump it up another notch but for now I'm gonna stick with this so far my team's been struggling again with the offense I was really hoping we could make a run at the Memorial Cup. But it's looking unlikely. You never know, though. Get on a good run and could be right there. Anyways, here we go. I still feel like I've been playing well recently, or just overall haven't had any really terrible games. And that's offside early. Well, Gary, this is a huge announcement coming in. I mean, if they end up on the power play, they're going to take the other guys down. And the team that they're facing, I just wish we could get three or four goals. And not including overtime. Either way, a win's a win. We just need to win. That was a terrible shot. I don't know why he tried to do that. Had a nice third period last game. Only three shots. Stopped them all, but... Nice to not get very much at times, but then it's also nice to get a lot of shots and get into a groove. Oh, just wide. Or save, huh? Wow. Good save. Must have just nicked it. His only option was on my blocker side. I might have turned over that way a little bit and gave up a little room on my left side, but still made the save. Oh, there's going to be a penalty. Get off on the bench. I finally got to watch an Habs game. 
match. Uh, their previous game was uh, against Pittsburgh, and it was on NBC Sports Network. So I was able to watch that. And ugly game, kind of, but it was a win. one nothing against one of the greater offensive teams. Killed seven power plays. I think seven. Could have been more. I remember them saying seven a few times. So we get a power play here. And Jaguar did a great job. Just a team effort defensively. But the offense was not good. Uh, can I get that? Oh. If it actually had more... I don't know. Because the goalies were better at puck handling. I could have grabbed it, but oh well. Again, I'm going to try to edit down a version of this episode. I don't know which one's going to get uploaded first yet. Uh, I might schedule them to come available around the same time. But I don't know how well I'm going to do at editing. Still pretty new at this, but... I've done some editing with stuff. <laughs> Why did you not grab that? Oh, well. Not like I needed to. It's probably best I don't play the puck very often. That was a big rebound, but didn't go anywhere. Uh, nobody to pass to. I wish it would improve on the uh, goalie puck handling, passing, whatever you want to call it. Had to have a little break there. And I got no touch icing on again. Had someone comment saying that that was the norm in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. I had no idea. And plus they've got the new hybrid icing in the NHL now. I don't think that's on this game. Probably just keep it on no touch. I mean, that can't be too different. Not much going on here in the first. What the heck happened there? It didn't look like he got poke checked or anything, but just lost it. I don't know if we'll get a goal this game. Or, not game. Of course we'll get a goal eventually in this game, whether it's shootout or something. Followed him. I've been going down a little too often and staying down and going down too early. I've been giving the top shelf away a lot and I almost got scored on last game because of it. But I'm just trying to work on it. I usually go down just to kind of help me move better. I can go... I can almost control it better. At times, I get a little stuck while standing and trying to move. Not sure what that is. Oh, just over the net. Come on, guys. Let's get a goal and take that into the break. Doesn't look like we will. Not on that rush, at least. Good check, but he got the puck back. Fighting for it back there. This is going back and forth a lot. No team's really getting much pressure. Ooh, good slap shot, but a great blocker save. And it just gets out of the zone. Running out of time in the first. 2.30 left. No goals yet. That's turned over, but just weakly tossed toward the net. Gets that puck back. Well, that's DeFornia. given right back to us, and then uh, we gave it right back to them. To minute Last minute. Gets to go in alone, but tried to pass it. It got slowed up and Here's an offensive chance. luckily cleared out. 
Feeling some back skating. Slap her on. Good save. Last five seconds. And that's going to be the first period. 0-0. Zero, zero. First time in a little while I've had a 0-0 zero, zero first. First time in at least two games that I haven't allowed a goal in the first, but only two shots on net. Very boring first for me. Let's see how the second goes. Here's the face off of period number two. Will that be icing? And yes, it will. Icing calls he could have maybe beat him. Those are the reasons why they wanted to keep it hybrid icing, I guess, for the NHL. It's to keep that excitement for the race for the puck whenever there is something. Ooh, rebound gobbled up by the defender. Breaks it up in the zone. Lewis. Having some good defense so far here. Just want my offense to come through. Oh, pass in front, and McKinnon just missed it. Good check. Oh, he's all alone. Save, and another save. Did a good job getting over. Yep. Trying to move it off the board. They were close to getting a goal there. Yep. Who will open the scoring? And will it even happen this period? That's how defensive both teams have been. Doesn't look like either team wants to allow one goal. It looks like it's sudden death in game seven of the Stanley Cup Finals. Just fighting back and forth. Oh, big check there. Love those. Fans not liking it. I got to try. Also, I had a goal scored on me last game where I tried to grab it. Yet, I didn't know exactly where it was. I knew it was in front of me, but I tried to grab it. It was actually pretty far out in front of me. I dove out, and they got a fairly easy goal on me. Which sucked, but... Now, after I turned off the auto covers, I just react by trying to grab it as fast as I can. I need to kind of hold off and make sure I know where it is and that I know I can get it. Sends that one back to Druin. To beat. Two on two the other Here they way. come again. Tried the pass, got it right back. What's he going to do? He's going to drive the net and throw it way up high. like to have it back. I'd like to have it a little lower. Need to control... Fight in the corner, almost given up on that pass. Fournier goes in alone, but now he gets some help and easy save by the goalie. Nine minutes left in the second, still no goals. Defensive battle here, huge hit and a bad pass kills that scoring chance. We still are doing good on the four check, keeping it going. Boshaman. To Lindsay. Shot, but good save by the goalie, and we'll get a face off in their zone. That was some good pressure, but nothing to show for it. Face off won by the Eagles. They skated out. Thought it was going to be offside, but apparently not. Got the warning, but. I don't know what happened. Oh, dangerous pass, and he gets run over by one of our players, and the neck, neck, the net comes loose. Fifteen to six, we're leading in the shots. We're dominating in the shot department, but it's still zero to zero. 
Our failure to capitalize and finish is hurting us. Getting screened by my own player, but made the save. Shoo, I just don't want to be the guy to give up the first goal. Not with how hard fought this is. Ooh, tried to go five hole, but denied. Jonathan Druin scored that game winning goal in overtime last game. Less than four minutes here in the second. Will we go scoreless into the third? It's looking like it. Ooh. A wraparound denied. I had a close one last game, too, that just kind of hit the post and sat right on the line. I had to jump back and grab it before somebody knocked it in. 2.31 left. See if we can win this face-off. No, we don't. But we get the puck and then give it up again. Pass blocked by Lewis. Sent around. Murphy gets it all the way out. Oh, I wish he would have just shot it. Good chances, though, in front. But cannot knock anything in. Their goalie has been very good. I've been good, too, but... Ooh, just deflected the pass. I've been good, too, but just... Not many shots against. And that's the ooh, second. Almost a chance there. So far, the offense has not been found. No Back offense the so far. The board. Zip, zip. Got all eight pluses. Nothing allowed. Go no goals off of 18 side. shots for us and no goals off of 11 shots for them. We're leading in the hit department. And got the slight edge and face-offs. Here we go. Third period. First time on, I believe, NHL 14 that I've went into the third 0-0 like this. I mean, I've gone into the third not allowing a goal, but going in without a goal f for me, too, has been a little rare. Guy alone in front. Luckily, we got the puck. Those are the kind of things i got to be aware of in case that, squirts, that puck squirts in front. Another guy alone, but he didn't pass it to him. Blocked. And we're able to take it out. Very good defense this game. With only the 11 shots. Not many really good chances. Drew it. No. McKinnon got leveled, I believe, and somebody should have stepped up for him. That's turned over. Fournier to Druin in front, and it missed. There they come again, looking for the pass. He does. Another pass, and that just went wide. Wasn't ready for that one. Quick pass, not very far away. But he missed. Can't move there. Fournier just misses. Come on, guys. One goal. It's all we hopefully need. That's a pretty good chance missed up high. Really good chance. When you miss by that this has been a good game. Not very exciting with no goals, but it's exciting for me not allowing any goals. Oh, good chance. That could have been called goalie interference, though, if we had knocked it in. Here they come again, just dumping it in. Fight behind the net. We come out with it and draw a penalty. Looks like hooking for two minutes. Huge power play. McKinnon's hurt. That's not good. He's our... Point leader, ooh, deflected on, it's in front, and they are able to not clear it. Now it just got out. Good chances. We're 0 for 1, but those were awesome chances. We just got to find a way to put it in. 
to Murphy. Takes the return. Skates it in. Nice On the attack again. He'll Easy save. The Sent right out. Penalty killing effort working. Weaker. To Weaker. Good save. Another easy save. Got to get more than that, guys. Sent around and nobody covering the point. I don't know what Weger was doing. But it wasn't the right thing. 35 seconds left in the power play. No support really in the four check, but we're able to get it. There's a shy scores. I don't know who that was, but was it Ashley? First goal of the game on the power play. Yes, it was Ashley, assisted by Champini. Screened by a few players, his own player, and one of ours. Here in this third period, Bill, we were one to nothing, 10.54 left. Is it enough? I sure hope so. I got to stay focused. And just play well. Most of all, stay focused and alert. Read the play. Here they come. Slapper on net. Easily turned aside. And that's outside the slot. We just keep playing defense, good defensively like we have all game and we got this. Be the first time in one of my starts that one goal was enough to win it. Just keep killing time, guys. Ooh, giving right up. Goalie not able to grab it, but it's cleared. That's just wide. No turnovers. On the stick through center. Pass right back to We're just killing right. clock now. And we'll get off. Face off, and there's Ohm with 7-11 left. Over seven minutes left to go here in the third period. The Feels like it's been a pretty quick game, but with no goals, on only one goal, is still going that's to probably why. Still very tight. Pass and good save. Down to about six minutes left. They get control and take it out. That just trickles wide. Not really a shot or anything. Just lost the puck. Jonathan Druin. Good shot, but pretty easy save for the goalie. Druin going around. Shot it right on. 4.45 left. Another face off in their zone. I think that's what helped, what has helped, is a lot of our face-offs, a lot of the face-offs have been in their zone. We finally won one, but two blocked shots, and they're able to get control and take it out. And dumped in. Fight behind the net for it. Oh, Druin just comes back to steal that one. Oh, this is the closest I've been to one of those magic things. For a goalie. To carry. Three minutes left. Pass intercepted. I've had some really bad heartbreakers in playing goalies in this NHL series. In the last few minutes, I believe even one in the last few seconds. 147 left. They still can come back. That's the annoying part is the one goal will tie it. It won't just ruin that thing. It will tie the game and pop, probably send it to overtime. Rug off the post and Andrews almost puts it in on the rebound, but a good save. Lewis, ooh, Drew and had it, but it got poke checked by the goalie. Here they come offside. 55.6 seconds. The faceoff will be in the neutral zone, but on their side of the ice. And we win it. Mm, just need to dump it. And he'll skate it in and shoot it on net. 45 seconds. They will be pulling their goalie soon. 
There they come again. Blocker save. Gotta watch what they're doing. There goes the goalie. We're able to get it. No turnovers. Come on. Here's Ryan trying to end it, but way wide. It could have been a dump in, though. 18, 17 seconds. Here they come again. Oh, good check. Need to get rid of it, though. They got the puck. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Shutout. Scary moments there with the loose puck in front, but my first career shutout. Finally. Not many shots. That's kind of how I needed to get it. Had some good saves. Just got that one goal that... That would have been so annoying if it had been 0-0 after regulation. I feel sorry for the goalies in games that end 0-0 after regulation. Because then somebody has to give up that shutout. Well, A plus, A plus, and only an A in stats. That? Come on. Whoops. I hit exit. Why do I get pucks for that? Uh, did I actually exit? No. Hmm. That's odd. I've never seen that screen before. I didn't think I got EA pucks for the be a pro. I've never have before. Oh, well. Only 13 shots against. Wow. They had 619 time on attack. They just did not throw it toward the net. And when they did, it got blocked a lot of times. A 13-shot shutout. I would have preferred it be 20 to 30. But I'm not griping too much. Finally a shutout. My team played very good in front of me. Just could have done with a little more offense. But it's over. We win. I would have rather had those numbers almost. But I'll take the shutout. 13 and 13. At least it should drop my goals against average greatly. Phew. That was a little nerve-wracking at the end, but pull it off. 84, 93, and 78 for the XP. That's a lot of XP for 13 saves. <laughs> First shutout. Let's see what kind of ranking I got. An E. <laughs> 35 games. But finally, the weight off my shoulders. I don't even care if I don't get any more this season. I'm just glad I got my first one out of the way. And once I get better, I'll start getting more. McKinnon is out. That is bad. And finally, the milestone. We'll see. I'll check the injury report. How long McKinnon's out for. That could be bad. Especially if we want to make a run to the playoffs and the Memorial Cup. I noticed uh, pulling up the standings, there's only 18 teams in the league. How many teams are going to be in the playoffs? That worries me. Next game I will be facing the Islanders, and then the Sea Dogs looks like I'm not going to be playing, which is kind of nice. I need some games that I don't play. They've been playing me every game just about. Oh, check the player growth. Yeah, I definitely can upgrade anything here. I'm going to do my stick high since that's the odd one out. And then probably work on my low since it's cheaper and just getting better is all I need to do right now. Close to getting a rebound control upgrade and not close at all in athletic. We'll look at my career statistics. Finally, that one shutout. Save percentage didn't change much. Neither did goals against average, really. But after 35 games, it isn't going to change a whole lot from one game. i got to string together a bunch of games. Good game. Good win. Uh, where's... No, that... Yeah, that is injury report. January 11th was an abdominal strain. What month are we... Oh, he's not out for long at all. That's good. We need him badly. Uh, look at the standings here. 
and we are 16th out of 18 teams. Not good, but it's pretty close if we, again, string together some wins, we can get up there. Oh, wait, there we are. Uh, we are not good on the goals for per game and not so great on the goals against per game. If I can get my game a little bit better and our defense can get, do pretty good, then we can maybe get by with the offense. Anyways, I believe that pretty much wraps it up. I'm going to try again on the weekend to get an episode, but it's not very likely with how I... If you had trouble getting into the game and just been busy recently, uh, you could probably just count on just Wednesday episodes for now. And should be between four and five games in between. Give or take one or two. Unless I get really into it and play more. Anyways, uh, that about does it here. If uh, Again, I'm going to try to make two versions of the game. If you don't see the other one, then I had a little issue and... Uh, then it's just whatever version's up now. <laughs> Anyways, if you like the video, please like, comment, and or subscribe. That helps me a bunch. And I'm AvalancheFan133, and I'll talk to you guys later.